Ryan, obviously a frustrating night. Um, just how frustrated are you that you guys can get the three points? Yeah, uh, you said it. It's frustrating in uh, in a game you dominate, a uh, game you have more chances. I th can only think of their goal as the only chance they really had. Um, so, yeah, it's frustrating. I think the guys have been looking forward to this one for uh, two weeks now. So it's... Um, it's a it's a tough one to swallow, but uh, there's still still many games left to uh, make up for it. On, on on their goal, you know, you guys were pressing so hard. Do you think you got a little ahead of yourselves just because you weren't finding any satisfaction to you know to leave yourselves vulnerable to a four v two isn't ideal. Um, maybe a bit. Um, we knew that that exact play was in their game plan. We rehearsed that exact situation many times throughout the week, the past two weeks of, um, yeah, that's where they're dangerous, in transition, um, and they get you exactly how they got us. Um, so, yeah, I would say so. Is there, you guys had found such a groove, you have been able to find your finish, you know, like early season maybe you had been struggling to finish, but you've really found your way in the last, you know, two, three months. When you look at a night like this where you're struggling to put the final touch on, is it is there a, an answer to be found, or do you just move on from this? Yeah, I think the only answer here is uh, to move on. Uh, the game is behind us. Um, we can work all this week training on finishing and, and being dangerous in the attacking third and making those attacking runs in behind them. Uh, to pull them out of positions because, as you see, uh, they played a lower block and, and they did well. Um, but, yeah, we did have our chances, and some nights uh, some nights things don't go your way. But um, I think the maturity in the group has, has to be there and, and not dwell on this uh, dwell on this loss. We have, uh, as you guys know, a bunch of road games coming. Statistically, we haven't been the greatest on the road, so we have to find a way to turn that around, and I believe we will. I'm confident we will. Um, like I've always said this year, it's it's a great group of guys. Uh, we're all pushing in the same direction. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll get it done. Do you think there's any kind of element of rustiness just having had that two-week break after playing um, Tigris and then coming into the Smash? Do you think there was any kind of rustiness between players and just kind of getting used again to the uh, game time atmosphere? I wouldn't say so. Um, I think San Jose had more time off than we did as well as they have to come play here in Vancouver, which is difficult for every team in North America to do, as we've seen in the League's Cup. Um, we had, yeah, we had two two good blocks of training, two good weeks of training. So there's there's no excuses, in my opinion. Uh, we just had to be better on the night, and and yeah, they, they executed their game plan. Great, thanks. Hey, Saran, you guys were able to create some good wide overloads, even if maybe you know the end product wasn't always there. What did you just make of you know what you were able to do in wide areas, especially with the new additions? Yeah, um, being being the wide player on this team, it's it's demanding. Um, so that's why there's always a lot of rotation of guys in and out. Um, you know, defensively, we have to be a part of every line. We have to be when the full uh, fullback gets it, we have to be the one that presses out. Uh, when the ball switches, we have to be with the midfield line. And, and when they're in our final third, we almost have to be essentially with our back line. So it's demanding. But I think, yeah, as you mentioned, the new guys coming in, Richie and Sam, um, they've adapted really well. Um, so, yeah, I thought both of them did really well tonight. And I think they'll both be looking to uh, build off that performance. And, yeah. Hey, Ryan, uh, towards the end of the game, I believe you were already uh, substituted off at this time, but it seemed like frustrations kind of seemed to get the better of, uh, of your team at a, at a certain point. Was there something kind of simmering throughout that second half that they were able to kind of knock you off your game a little bit? Um, I mean, maybe a bit. I think uh, we had to do a better job of playing in behind them. And that's really our philosophy as a team is getting to the opponent's goal as fast as possible, basically in the least amount of touches and passes. Um, and yeah, they forced us to play a game that we're not really accustomed to of 
11 of them behind the ball and us just, you know, playing small passes in front of them. Uh, you know, we work, play our best when teams try and get in our face. So I think that's something that, yeah, we could potentially work on and analyzing for the, the next week to come. Um, yeah, I think we just needed to make more attacking runs in behind and pull out their defenders and stretch them. Uh, instead, I thought we were playing too comfortable uh, playing in front of them, and essentially that's that's what they want, playing in their low block. Thanks, guys.